Hey, we're back with another edition of Air Ray TV. And today we're excited to show you our MXP series cold air intake system for the 2008 through 2011 Polaris Razor 800. Now come on over and let's take a look, see what comes with our kit. We have our one piece fully roto molded complete air box, roto molded riser tube, pre filter scoop, 900 CFM washable and reusable air filter. Optional roto molded snorkel, silicone hump hose, and our hardware pack with detailed step by step installation instructions and everything needed for a complete installation. Before we begin, this customer opted for an aftermarket roll cage, so we just need to get this thing removed and then we can start the installation of our air raid intake system. First, we're going to remove the driver's side and passenger side seats. Next up is the engine cover removal. I'm going to rotate the two twist locks and lift out. I've gone ahead and removed the bed bolts. Now we can pick up the bed and set it aside. We have gone ahead and removed the last three rivets securing the driver's side corner panel. The panel should just slide right off. Now it's time to remove the factory intake system. We're going to loosen the large clamp on the factory intake tube, remove the two bolts at the top of the factory filter housing, and remove it from the vehicle. Now it's time to install our Air Raid cold air intake system. I've already gone ahead and assembled our box, installed our Air Raid premium filter, our transmission bracket, and reinstalled the factory PVC fitting. Now we can slide the box in the razor. And you just want to connect the factory intake tube to the back of our air box and tighten down the transmission bracket with the hardware provided. I've gone ahead and cut out our air scoop template and you just want to use tape to hold it in position while marking your holes with a punch. Now we're going to drill four eighth inch pilot holes in the panel. Now we're going to drill four 516 bolt holes in the panel. Now it's time to cut a large hole in the panel using a drill with a 3 inch hole saw. Before proceeding with the rest of the installation, we need to reinstall the engine cover, the intake shroud, the bed, and the fenders. Now it's time to install our riser tube on the air box, and I've already gone ahead and installed our hump hose. You just want to slide it up the back of the fender and connect it with the hardware provided. Now that our upriser tube's in place, we can install our hardware, our gasket, attach our scoop, tighten that down with the hardware provided, and install our pre-filter. Well, our installation's almost complete. You just want to double check, make sure all your connections are nice and snug. Now we'll take this baby for a spin. Well, thanks for joining us today. Be sure and check us out on the web at airaid.com and follow us on Facebook and let us know that you like us. We'll see you next time on Air Raid TV.